Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at high ping times and latency and how to fix them on a Windows 10 PC. Now, Warzone, it's had issues and we all know about that. So this is something that actually has less to do with the game itself and more to do with the quality of connection that you have. So we're gonna take a look at a few ways that we can fix them and get you up and running. And this has less to do with their server, although their server can cause issues at times, but more to do with your PC and your home connection and how to resolve those issues as quickly as possible. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Now, the very first step that you can do to reduce latency and lag and ping time issues is don't use a wireless connection. Use a wired connection. If you're three feet away from your wireless router and you can plug in your cable directly from your PC into the router, do that. Don't go wireless. I've been doing networking for a very long time and wireless has never ever ever been better than a wired connection so first step if you can go wired if you can't try these next steps what we're going to do is we're going to open up the warzone port so we're going to open up the tcp and udb ports for pc only so this is not for xbox one or playstation 4 this is for pc only and here are the ports that we're going to open up on a windows firewall we're not doing it on the router because we're trying to generalize this a bit and be very specific to the computer that you're on so click on start, you type in firewall, and we're gonna go into the advanced firewall security settings here. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna select the inbound rule. And then on the right-hand side, we're gonna select a new rule. So we're gonna click on this, and, and we're gonna select the second option here, which is for port, because we're gonna be selecting very specific ports. And we're gonna be doing TCP. So select port, and then click on next. And then up at the top, we wanna to make sure that TCP is selected. And now we're just gonna copy and paste the TCP ports that we wanna have open and forwarded. So we'll click on copy and then we'll paste it in here and then click on next. And now we wanna make sure that we're gonna allow connections to go through this port. So the first one that is selected here, we're gonna leave it and uh, click on next. And now we wanna make sure it applies to all three of these options, leave them checked and click on next. And then we can give it a name here. So we can just call it Warzone TCP rule. And then we can finish that up by clicking right here and we're done. And now we're gonna create another inbound rule and this is for the UDP. So inbound rule and then on the right hand, we're gonna click on new rule. And again, we're gonna select port because that's what we're gonna be doing. And then click on next. And now we're selecting UDP, which is the second option. And we can copy and paste the ports that we want to forward here. So copy it, paste it, click on next. And we want to allow the connection. So we leave the first option selected. And then we check all these, click on next. And now we're going to give it a name. So we'll type in Warzone UDP rule, and then we can click on finish. And there we go. So now we have the TCP rule and the UDP rule. This is all saved so we can close out of here and you can test it out right away or you can reboot. Sometimes Windows might need a reboot. So maybe do that and then try out the game, see if that fixes the issue. The next thing that we can do is flush the DNS on your computer. So we can click on start, type in CMD, uh, right click and run as administrator. I recommend running as administrator just in case you don't have full access to their system. Inside the command prompt, you can type in ipconfig space forward slash flush CNS. Now everything that we're doing will be in the comments below so you don't have to memorize any of these. So you type that in, hit enter, and it clears the DNS cache on your computer. Sometimes this will get corrupted over time, which causes lag and latency. So we're flushing it out. You can then go back to your game, reload it, see if it felt resolves the issue. If it doesn't, we'll have one more step for you to try it. Now, one of the last steps that we can do, and this usually helps a lot of people, is to hard code the DNS server into your settings. And before you even do this, these are the four fastest ones that we can find uh, on the internet. Just go in your command prompt and ping each one of them, the primary one, the first one. Ping each one, see which one actually gives you uh, the best response time. Depending on where you are in the world, uh, geographically located, you might get a shorter ping time 
because one of their servers could be closer to you. So what we're doing is we're just going through each one of them. There's four here. Cloudflare is probably gonna be the fastest one, but we're gonna ping each one and see which one gives us the best response time. So let's ping it all in here. So we can check out the average ping time. So far, Cisco has given me an average of 14 milliseconds and then Cloudflare has given me an average of 10 milliseconds. Let's see what Google gives me. Okay, Google gave me 10 milliseconds as well. That's pretty good. And let's just try this quad nine and see what we get from quad nine. So we're gonna copy and then ping and then paste it. And let's check out the average. And the average is 50, ooh, this is bad. Average is 57. So this is definitely not looking good. It's a toss up between Cloudflare and Google's public DNS. I'm gonna go with Cloudflare. Overall, Cloudflare is usually pretty reliable. Uh, at least in North America, they're the fastest that we have. Uh, you can try this out, test it out, ping each one, see which response you get better, and then jump over to how we're gonna hard code it. So let's close out of all these windows and get back to our desktop. Now to enter it into your settings, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the start menu, bottom left hand corner, and then type in network. Type in network and then we get view network connections. We can click on that. Now I only have two, I have a virtual one and I have my LAN card here. You might have multiple ones depending on it is, depending on your PC. But if you right click on it and go to properties, we can scroll through here and you have IPv6. We're not gonna be using that. We're gonna be using IP4. We're gonna go into IPv4 by selecting it and clicking on properties. Now down here, we have the DNS settings and this is where we can put in the primary and secondary DNS server. So like I said, we're using Cloudflare and it's 1.1.1.1 that we're gonna be putting in here. And then the secondary one go back into the file. Okay, so here's a secondary one and we'll be putting that in. So it's 1.0.0.1 and then we can just hit okay. And then we can close out of all these windows. And again, I'm gonna to recommend to reboot. So we make sure that the settings actually take effect on your PC, it does a nice refresh. So restart your computer and try it out. And that's how you change the DNS settings on it. Now this often helps a lot of people uh, the most. So I recommend trying them all out in the stages I gave it to you uh, because it's less dramatic that way and you know what one, which one might actually work out for you. Uh, also everything that we've done can just be reverted. So if you're hard coding your DNS settings into the computer, you can always switch it back to specify an automatic one obtained by your, D your ISP. So these are the four things that you can do to lower the latency and ping times on your Windows 10 PC. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'm really happy that my videos are helping some of you guys out. I've got a lot of positive feedback from the last couple that I put out for Warzone. I uh, hope this helps you out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I've got more stuff coming down the pipe. I'm working on it right now and testing out which ones are gonna be useful. And that's it. So if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.